Hi everyone, this is our BIS 103 map, now part two. And in this section of our map, I will summarize what we have learned in our lectures one to five. And so this obviously builds on our part one of the BIS 103 map. So you can watch these videos in succession to each other to try and understand how we continue to build our pathway map throughout the quarter. And so what we had discussed over the last lectures and had covered in our part one of the map was our pathway of glycolysis, how we can break down glucose to two molecules of pyruvate to start generating ATP. We had also discussed how we can use other sugars and how they can feed in into this pathway. And then in the last lectures, we had started to talk about what happens to pyruvate under different conditions. One condition being under anaerobic conditions in absence of oxygen. We had talked about two of our major fermentation pathways, one being our lactate dehydrogenase, LDH, breaking down pyruvate to lactate. And our other one was our ethanolic fermentation, converting pyruvate into ethanol using our pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase. And keep in mind, highlighted here in red, the PDC, the decarboxylase, does not exist in humans. We cannot do this. We do lactate fermentation. And then last lecture, we had talked about what happens to pyruvate in the presence of oxygen, and we had spent much of the lecture discussing our PDH, or pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, by converting two molecules of pyruvate into acetyl-CoA and carbon dioxide. And we had talked about how this a mechanism works using five different cofactors here, TPP, thiamine pyrophosphate, lipomide, CoASH, NAD, and FAD.